Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in this video I'm going to show you how to animate a cursor moving on screen and clicking things, like a cool little mouse movement. Um, so I've created this just gorgeous, beautiful cursor. I think it's the best one I've ever made. Look at it, like the shade and everything, damn. Let's go, I'm going to position this off screen first to begin with. Uh, hit a keyframe. Add a keyframe, then like, uh, yeah, like around here, and then maybe go to this spot and then go off screen again so it makes one, two clicks. And there you go. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, maybe just add a little ease to it. Okay. Not too much. Yep, three mountains. Great, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. No, um, this looks horrible. No, well, it's no, it's horrible. Um, what we're going to do is first off, I like to add a nice, smooth line to it. So open your pen tool and go to the convert effect vertex tool, and I can drag these lines out to make a, or I can. Just pick this handle right here and make these smooth lines. So I can go here, click, go through there. Yeah, and here I would like this to go off screen like this. So smooth movements, all right. So that already looks better. Mm. It's a bit too fast for my taste. So what I can do is then select all these keyframes, hold down option on my keyboard and drag the last one out. So it will exponentially, I think, move. Um, relative to each other. Yeah, that's a better speed. Okay, cool. So, what I can do now, um, for a realistic look, it's kind of like this. Like the cursor is like tilted that way most of the time, and it clicks up. No place. What I what I do like is to make the tip of the arrow follow the line. It's not realistic, but it just looks better in my opinion, and it's animation, so we can do whatever the hell we want. Right-click the layer, go to Transform, and then Auto Orient, and click on Orient Along Path, Path, OK. British versus American in one sentence, nice. Um, and then orient it the right way, and this way it will follow the path of the position. So, that already clicked click looks a lot better. What I'd like to do is to add a little click to it by opening uh, S on your keyboard, scale, uh, hit a keyframe for 100% and drag that out. And another one, and right in the middle of that, just make it like 90. And I need to op uh, hit U on your keyboard to open every um, all the keyframes. And need to time it right, so put it right here or something. See, it's just a really small click. Maybe you can take a little longer so you can see it better. Click, yeah. Now it's all about timing, this right click. Uh, copy those, Command-C and Command-V on the same, in the same spot. Click, there you go. And I would like to have some visual cue that I'm actually clicking, so I'm gonna create an ellipse, hold down shift and command, shift for the perfect circle command to drag it out from the from the middle. And I'm gonna, uh, all right, go to my pen behind tool and uh, move the anchor point to the middle, open S uh, scale for the shape layer. And I'm going to scale that from zero to a hundred real quick, all right. Select those keyframe, easy, easy, easy it a bit. So yeah, you know how it goes. Okay, there we go. Poo. And maybe just to fade it out a bit, uh, hit Shift and T so you can open the opacity next to the scale. Click that and make it a zero right here. Just give it a easy, a easy ease. Everything easy ease always. And I can. 
drag this in and drag that out or I can hold option and then end bracket to cut the cut the layer there uh, put it up below your cursor cursor yeah okay that's too soon maybe a bit faster click how's that great maybe the opacity can nice and then I can duplicate this by pressing command D on my keyboard and dragging that to the next one and there you oh yeah of course <laughs> let's drag that to the right location it's there there you have it click it click a nice cursor clicking all the way around you can add of course you can add multiple uh, keyframes to click wherever you want and you can add more visual uh, needs if you want to. you can like have lines from the back flowing just to get some more excitement going but this is just a basic mouse click animation thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next one bye bye <laughs>